When you see thousands and thousands of people protesting to cease fire in Gaza and uh, the governments are not responding to that, uh, you wonder if um, democracy is working. And, uh, you know, in, in the past we had dictators, we had kings that like single-handedly rule and make decisions on, the, on behalf of their nations. Uh, we thought we passed that. We thought now we live in, uh, uh, you know, an age of uh, advancement, civilization, and you know we have a, a civil community that that takes human rights seriously, and uh, that we have governments in the West that represent their people. Um, but um, when you see that this dissociation between what the people want and ask for, and um, you know we all saw that the. Um, the big demonstration yesterday in Washington DC and uh, before that in multiple cities throughout the US and in Europe, you know, big, big demonstrations. And the political leaders, they are not, you know, reflecting the concerns of their people. Um, you know, what difference is that? you know, from having, you know, a king or, or a dictator. Uh, maybe the only difference is that the current um, leaders are um, just dem democratically elected dictators. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, and democracy should work. Um, leaders should represent their people. And, and if the people are asking for I mean, even even if the people don't ask for that, that's just basic human rights. When you see thousands of innocent children being killed in this way, I mean, that's that's my God. That is that that's gonna stop. Um, but yeah, keep up the pressure. Keep up the pressure. You know, hopefully it will work. I I you know I I think uh, the democracies in the West are uh, good or the best we have. Uh, you know, we all, myself included, who are living in the West, we enjoy the freedom, we enjoy, you know, um, all the benefits of uh, democracy, but it gotta work. It, it, you know, it cannot be like that. Uh, um, you know, when you have all these thousands of people asking for a ceasefire, you gotta respond to that, you gotta put some pressure on Israeli government. Um, you know, it cannot go uh, unnoticed like that and uh, you know and under under the excuse of self-defense which is you know understandable but uh, that's just beyond self-defense now